Hello, you are welcome to this morning's Open Heaven devotional. That's today, Friday, June 16, 2023. Friday, June 16, 2023. Our talk topic is just start. Wow, what a topic. Before we proceed, let's just pray. Thank you, precious Father, for this opportunity to present and to host this Open Heaven devotional of today, this Friday. We thank God for this opportunity. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for Father and the Lord General Vasia, Pastor Ia Adibwe, who, who has been inspired by the Holy Spirit to pen down this particular and devotional for our lives to be enriched and greatly blessed in Jesus' name. Please accept our thanks also for Daddy in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask as we go into the devotional, let every work of the devil in our lives be destroyed by fire and let Jesus' name alone be glorified. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. If you have tuned in, you are welcome to the Open Heaven devotional of today. That's Friday, June 16, 2023. Friday, June 16, 2023. I am your host, Pastor Patrick Davidson Osage. I'm the special assistant to the Continental Overseer for Youth and Young Adults, Africa Continent 4 of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Our topic today, I love it, it says just start. Just start. Our Memory verse is Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Joshua 1, 9. Scriptural reading is Isaiah 43, verse 15 to 19. Isaiah 43, 15 to 19. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage? Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, with that soever that goeth. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. We'll go straight into the um, scriptural reading today. Isaiah 43, verse 15 to 19. Isaiah 43, 15 to 19. And I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible. It says, I am the Lord, your holy... I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus said the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together, they shall not rise, they are extinct, they are quenched as tall. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in Jesus' mighty name. Let's go into the devotional and the writings of our Father in the Lord. I grew up in a very poor home. My father was extremely poor. Yet he had two wives and many children. He also had a small farm that could not support the family if he died. So I decided that I wasn't going to die in that state of poverty. And I knew that the only way out was to study hard in school. I studied hard and gained admission to a palatial grammar school. But when the result came, my mother called me into the room and said, you this boy, what are you, what are you trying to do? You know we have no money. And you say you want to go to grammar school. Then she begged me, please, my boy, Christmas is coming. I will buy you good clothes. Forget about this grammar school. I told her, I don't want Christmas clothes. I want, to, I want to go to school. This was in 1955. To show how serious I was, I refused to eat for two days. I was prepared to continue my hunger strike on the third day when she and my father somehow got some money and deposited it to the school. One way or the other, I finished secondary school and gained admission into the university and today and where I am. Success, success does not come to people who consider their limitations before they move. I take that again. Very important point. Success does not come to people who consider their limitations before they move. Doesn't that sound like our generation today? The slothful man said, there's a lion in the way. A lion is in the streets. Psalms 26, verse 13. Psalm 26, 13. No matter the odds against you, if you can ignore those odds and just set out, there's success waiting for you out there. 
see those things that you call limitations as tests, challenges, challenging your abilities. A champion is rated by the opponent he faces. The bigger the opponent, the greater the die to. The stronger the opposition you face, the greater your level of success. Most people know heavyweight champions of the world. But if you are to ask around, only if you know the lightweight champions. The reason my success story is interesting to many is because of the low level I came from. Get up and face those limitations. The reward will be worthwhile. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hand be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7. Well, the place to start from is to give your life to Jesus. I know many of you have been listening to men of God preach. People have been speaking to you everywhere. Give your life. You say, okay, one day I'll just start. And you start by simply just believing in your heart and confessing it with your mouth. That's what Romans chapter 10, verse 8 to 10 says. Romans 10, 8 to 10. Don't, don't keep this decision waiting. Do it now. Start now. Become born again now. Give your life to Jesus. Pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I confess that I'm a sinner. I confess I've sinned against you. Wash me clean in your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. Give me the power of the Holy Spirit, and please make me born again. Thank you, precious Father. Blessed be your holy and mighty name. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, a born-again Christian, a child of God, please go to the nearest redeemed Christian church of God around you and tell them you gave your life to Christ during the Open Heaven devotional program and you want to join Believer's class. Why? So that you can be established and your foundation can be made stronger for the years ahead and for the journey that you have made yourself available for. And the Lord will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Our key point for today is there is no limitation you cannot surmount if you have Christ in you. Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ that, set, that strengthens me. Say with me. Say, I can. I can. Because Jesus strengthens me. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father, for the grace to, to start that thing preventing us from starting. Starting businesses, great destinies, great opportunities. Today, let them be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. The inertia to begin, give to everyone watching now, and let great things start in our lives going forward. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I've been your host, Pastor Patrick Davis Osage, the special assistant to the Continental Overseer, for Africa Continent 4 of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Till I come your way again tomorrow, I trust God that you, you are blessed. And please go and start. Start that business. Start that endeavor. And the Lord, Almighty God, and the Almighty God himself, the Lord himself, will bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom. And see you at the top. <laughs>